What is up? We are live. Welcome back. Blake Jamison here. Oh, man. Tonight is exciting. Gregory Siff and Brittany Palmer, power couple in L.A. Uh, you guys know Gregory, obviously, from Project 2020. Um, and you probably know Brittany as well uh, from UFC or her art. And man, I'm just, I'm so pumped. So this is the, my first time actually at meeting Brittany officially. I've obviously met Greg, Gregory a few times, but uh, Brittany, great to meet you. But both of you guys, welcome. I feel like I know you though. As much as I you know. guys talk to me, I, know. I, feel like I know you. Like, hi. <laughs> Project 2020. Yeah. Love that he's doing his thing again. Yeah. Here he goes again. Yep. Yeah. Dude, and did you yeah. do it again with that barrel? Huh? Oh, I just said, and did he do it again with that Daryl, man? That's beautiful. <laughs> I know. It was so good. Thank you. I had to show up for, for my man. Yeah, no, I mean, you did. You I, did. Was pr I was probably at that game where that photo was taken uh, yeah. of, of that, like, warrior triumphant shot. Yeah. You know, there's, you know, when you find that photo that you click with to, to, to paint from. Yeah. It's like. Did you, uh, did you rock the Mets pants while painting it? Yeah, I didn't rock the Mets pants while I was painting that one. That was that was for good in, but I still have yeah. them to paint on them. Yeah. Um, but I had oh, I had the starting lineup figure. I had all the essence of Daryl. I was listening to some of his podcasts and nice. his, uh, his book, and he was in the room, man. It felt yeah. great. And he commented on it, which which like I got wow. chills. Yeah. And, and uh Mike pointed it out to me, and it was like Daryl just commented on your photo. I, you, you know what it's like, yeah. you know, when, when you connect with the, with the muse. Yeah. So that's she's, awesome, man. Yeah. And Brittany, A-Rod, talk to us about that card. That's awesome. Thank uh, you. And, and like the pair and the give the giveaway that goes with it. That's mm -hmm. awesome. Well, yeah, well I, first of all, just to do the project, I was super excited because I was very much with, you know, with him last year to see how you guys worked. And I just thought it was so great. And um, when they asked me to do it, I, I was pumped. You know, it kind of feels, it feels like almost like an art show because you just get to be so like with whatever you want. You know, there's really no rules on this on this project. So right. I, I love that. And I wanted to come out with something that wasn't expected because they're going to expect me to do the portraits. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to come out with something different, something that I thought would suit a card and in, in my vision and really go through with it because you know, as an artist, as you know, like we go through these things, like, is it going to work? Are they, they going to like it? I don't know. Maybe I should just stick with the shit I know. Like, you know what I mean? And then yeah. it was like this beautiful internal battle that I had to just say like, no, like this is what I want to do for my first card. I want to come out with something different that is unexpected. And then of course, but then there's the other side of me who's like the little, like the demon, like, but also just do a portrait just so they know. <laughs> so that's what I did the second one. Just, yeah. just cause it was, you know, what was expected. And it was just kind of that bonus. Yeah. To yeah. bring to the table for sure i mean and like you said like i remember i watched you guys' interview with uh risk uh risk mm -hmm. rock uh, a few weeks ago and you guys have, you were talking about that and brit specifically you were talking about how you thought you were going to surprise people with the direction you were going on the first card and uh and i think that you did i think it's awesome i think that it's smart that you still did show the portrait um I think a lot of like that's the work of yours that I recognize that I definitely love um, and hope honestly like selfishly I hope that that makes it into oh, a card. It strong. Uh, I just here's yeah. the thing we have eighteen. I just of finished. Course, of course. I finished one today that you'll love. I'll send it to you privately just because it's sick. Please. So we but I just wanted to have like a mix and match of both and then kind of right. integrate both styles like and then yeah. have and then maybe you know I'll relay this because you know yeah. that was hand painted. So you, Right. If you look at the character, so ultimately I can in integrate that into canvas work on a bigger scale with the, you know, so it's just playing yeah. with different subjects. Awesome. I yeah. like, I love, I love too that like, I feel like your cards, like the two cards today, like they go really, your cards go really well together mm -hmm. um, in terms of like palette and stuff, I think is awesome. Um, definitely, Britt, I mean, a lot of Saved by the Bell vibes, which I love. Right. Yeah. Uh, and then the bat too. Like, I think like it's super playful, which I think is fun, like for baseball cards and that nostalgia, the bat specifically has that pattern that to me, I just think of, I think of like PlayStation. Yep. So I'm just like, you know, I'm getting like saved by the bell PlayStation. Last time uh, Bridgemont high. Like I yeah, really just wanted yeah. to choose that to go with the era of it. And mm -hmm. I'm not going to do it with all of them. Um, but you know, I really, I, I just kind of found, 
I don't know. I just went with what I wanted and, and I didn't, I didn't right. care. It wasn't about anything else other than what I wanted to do. And, and it seems that people liked it. So. Yeah. <laughs> I know. It's awesome. First, first of many. Yeah. It's exciting. Uh, and Greg, I, I cut you off earlier. Sorry. No, I was just saying when, when she, when she first said, I'm, I'm going to, I'm doing a rod. I was like, Oh, dope. I like, no, he wasn't in project 2020. I was like, that's going to be a, uh, like a coming out strong for a rod. And then, when you pick the the era that the card is made in the silhouette she says i want this piece to to reflect that time so i thought that was a really cool you know like an artist perception of saying like let's capture the moment of of the 80s in there and I, and i said I, I think people will get it but once you once you collect, connect like all the 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 important moments that happened uh in the 80s and in the 70s like her cards are going to take on this kind of like timeline time capsule in, yeah. in there and i thought that was cool it's not only about the player it's about the time they were playing in but it's also i, I think it, and i think the reason is and i have to be completely honest I, i'm so grateful to be doing this house project and to be a, you know with mlb and baseball but baseball was never really my sport like i'm a ufc right. girl so, so i i of course i'm going to start to find other things within it and that will relate to me like the time like i i really do have a nostalgic way about me and the things that I love, you know what I mean? Like I, I, I've always been that kind of girl. So, you know, I have so much respect for baseball and it's really great to get to know more about these athletes, but I'm not going to lie and be like, Oh yeah, I had 18 at the top of my head, just waiting to spit out. Like I had to like right. really research it. So yeah. I think that that's why I wanted to incorporate more of me within the card. And I think that that's ultimately, hopefully what the project's about. Yeah. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Uh, also someone asked a question. Um, Okay, Jake actually already kind of answered it. So someone said that you had mentioned 18 players uh, and asked, they thought it was 20. So just to clarify for people that are listening, so there are 18 players plus two rappers, which yeah. are the top's packaging, which each, each artist gets to choose. And so we're reimagining 20 things, 20 things. 18, 18, 18 of which are players. I, I should fix that because I'll start confusing people. Yeah, I, I honestly, like I've just been saying, yeah, my 20 players, I'm just considering like the rapper a player. Yeah, um, uh, but that might confuse okay. people later down the road. But yeah, like, uh, hold on. Yeah, I think once once like the first rapper starts once is like released as a card, people will start to understand. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So let's see here. What um, have you got? Are you guys telling people who you're doing next at all? No, not any, next. Any but... secrets? Any tip? Any like nothing? uh i think it's I always think it's, fun to wake up in the morning yeah well you can give if you want to give a clue or or a, i'm not gonna say who's next but i can say the people that are on my list or is that not nice. i like i mean you can do whatever you want i don't even not, know, well, I know who's next next I, I don't know does it matter i don't know i don't know i, just haven't thought I don't about it. you i think like um like who do you got next <laughs> Well, I, I already it's kind scary. of I'm like terrible at secrets, so <laughs> I, I have a Cunha. No, I have a Cunha next. And okay. um I, I didn't actually say it, but like my Acuna painting is like right up here in my studio and I just finished it and I like love it. And so when I don't remember who I was talking, just just that was the painting. <laughs> yeah, I was like I was doing a stream and someone kept saying Acuna and I kept looking up like kind of subconsciously, and then there is somebody in the comments is like, You did Acuna next, and I'm like, Yeah. Uh, um, but also like part of the reason that I was okay sharing that is like, I've, I've seen a lot of feedback <clears throat> from some collectors saying that, you know, there's so many like Yankees, Dodgers, Mets, uh, so far. And I get that. I mean, there is, and you know, we see that in, in your cards. I think that like the Yankees organization just has had so many and, and the Mets have had so many stars right over the years. And there is such a dense population. There's a huge fan base for it. So all the artists get to choose their own sets. It makes sense that like we end up with a lot of those players, but um, you know, some people in the other parts of the country, like I, for example, I grew up hating the Yankees. My dad always said, Oh, we hate the Yankees. Uh, they were like the nemesis. And so I want to see like other, other teams represented. And that's part of the reason why I was like, okay, to be like, all right, fine. I'm doing Acuna because at least it's a Braves player, even though like I think Acuna and Tatis and like Griffey, and then like Yankees and Mets pretty much like sums up a lot of like, I heard a great interview. Uh, I think it, it was with Griffey and his dad, because I think they played for the Yankees and like the father was like, mm -hmm. or they were going to go play for the Yankees. 
It's like, and you're going to go play for the Death Star? Like, like that's yeah. like, like, like the dark side because – yeah. It, but, um, well, I grew up like 15 minutes from Shea Stadium, so there was no way I was even going to ever be a true diehard Yankees fan. It's Mets for me. But, yeah, I think it is cool. We, there are we, I've got some teams across the board. Like, you'll see some other players, and um, it's not all New York, but, you know. I got some yeah. Padres in there because I was born in San Diego. You had to rep Padres. Nice. Yes. Yeah. yeah. My next one's LA, but right. that's just my next one. Yeah, but yeah. There's a bunch, yeah. but see, like I said, so I I choose like the I like I like research like athletes and like things that I like about you know what I mean. Like I I really got to instead of because I never had like a home team. You know, I was born yeah. in San Diego, raised in Vegas. Yeah. So you know, yeah. I wonder. Like, I mean, obviously now like with COVID, it's different because people can't come watch UFC fights. But back when you guys were doing the huge events and huge arenas and stuff in Vegas. Were there some like guys in baseball that you remember that were like big UFC guys that would always come out and be there, you know, like, you, yeah. you know, you see like a Lakers game and then it's always like, Oh yeah. I don't know, somebody, somebody sitting up front. That's like a huge Lakers fan that might play baseball. You um, know what? I had asked that question specifically because I'm, I was choosing my players and I'm just trying to think like, you know, how can we, in, and, and there really wasn't any that, um, like anyone knew like off the bat, like I asked Dana, like I was like, Joe, yeah. I was like, hey, I was like, anyone? <laughs> like yeah. and, and I think that there might've been, but it wasn't like that the regulars. Of yeah, the, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. That's awesome. And yeah. also I saw somebody, cause somebody posted on Twitter. So you actually had your own tops card that yeah. was autographed yeah. in like 2016, 17 or something. It was like, it's a while, like before Gregory. <laughs> I have a 2021. I have, I've had them. Since this like, girl can do double autos. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. They started doing tops cards. Oh gosh. Like oh. right when I had started, I think maybe 2000. I don't know. For, forever. I was in a yeah. card coffee and I noticed that they had the 2020, um, tops unleashed, uh, uh UFC unleashed tops. Okay. Cards. I got her one. You open it up and there's like one card in there and one auto, but we didn't open it yet. But, um, Oh, it's, you gotta rip that. Yeah, we gotta rip that. You got it in the house or what? <laughs> <laughs> it's in the studio. Um, thing. Yeah. Uh yeah, I mean that's that's awesome. Um are you uh Britt, do you plan on doing like autograph cards? I, I imagine a lot of people are curious about that with all the artists. So you're gonna do a little yeah, bit of that? Do all of it. Great. I want to embellish them and like just have fun with it. I, I'm excited for that part. That's awesome. This is this is so fun too because it's just like getting my feet wet. And this is only my first card. And you know how I mean, both of you they get better and better and better because you get totally. your flow, you get your rhythm, you get like totally. to loosen up and be more comfortable with you know a different crowd and a, like a whole different crowd seeing my work. You know, I have the UFC and I'm so grateful. But now it's like opening up to the card collectors and so. Um, so once this part's over and the car, you know, when I can actually do stuff with the cards and I really just want to like, just play with them. She, you asked me a great question in the studio today because, you know, always working on cards now. And, and I was like, I, you know, I was like, hmm, I'm, you know, there's different styles, sometimes paint the face, sometimes paint on the photo, sometimes cut mm -hmm. it. Like, well, which cards did you love making on, in from 20 project 2020 and now, and which cards are your favorite? And I was like, that's right. a great way to look at it because the Cal Ripken card, I loved, I love making that reminded me of like, which cards did you have the most fun making and why? And then which ones did you ultimately love how they turned out that like the ones that you would hang on your wall? Because they all have a special place in your, in, in your heart. You created them, but right. the ones that just like, that just glint a little bit different than the others. And yeah. it's, it, it's yeah. cool to think about that. Well, as, I feel like the well, hardest, the, the thing that can always get in our way is when we try to paint to please other people. That's why commissions seem to be so difficult sometimes, although it's still the exact same artist and you know exactly what you're doing, you know how to get there, but it's, you're doing it for someone else. And mm -hmm. when you do that, then it's just like the second guessing is all over the place. So, I mean, most of my paintings that I, that's why I'm having fun with this card. It's not doing anything anyone's telling me to do. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's awesome. I love, love that. Um, Oh yes. Okay, guys. I, so I have a, a special surprise. So you guys know uh, the little video that I sent you the other day 
of the kid who I share a name with <laughs> that opened up some packs. He's been reviewing all the Project 2020 or Project 70 stuff. He's going to pop on stream with us right now. Yay. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what's up? What's going on, hey. Blake? Blake, hey. 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 How's it Hi. going, man? Good. Great. So what good to meet you. Yeah, good to meet you, man. We've been loving your videos. Yeah. Uh, I love just, you know, you're brutally honest and you see stuff that mm -hmm. sometimes nobody else sees. And sometimes, you know, you might rag on Snoop Dogg and make it rhyme. So that's cool too. You may rep, but your party strap. <laughs> exactly. Oh, that was brutal. <laughs> yeah. I love it, man. How old are you, Blake? Um, I'm actually nine. I'm um this year I'm turning ten. Wow. wow. I wanted to say it was so cool. I was watching your your uh your show last night. Blake sent it to me, and I was I I was so amazed. You you noticed every little detail: the strawberries, the New York Mets coming off the hat. Mm -hmm. You notice all the cool little things. And when then I'm I making cards, I make sure that um I look very carefully for every detail, so people don't get mad in the comments and say you missed something. So then I have to redo the video. Yeah. And um, yeah, I just have to be really careful sometimes. You got a great eye, man. You yeah. made our night. That's <laughs> awesome. Um, Blake, how long have you been collecting cards? Uh, I would say like never. Actually, uh, five maybe. Nice, that's awesome. Who's your favorite player? Uh, my favorite player is Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge. Oh wow! That's I actually went to the stadium one time and saw where the ball hit the TV at the stand. Wow! Wow! I was on tour by um some guy. We got to see through all the rooms in the stadium. It was really nice. Wow, Blake. I want to tell you two things. Do you know Aaron Judge's um, secret uh, thing he does with bubble gum? No. So I, I heard an interview with him that Aaron Judge takes a piece of bubble gum and he starts to chew it. And when he gets up to bat, if he gets a hit, he keeps it in his mouth. So by the end of the game, if he if he keeps getting hits, he'll have this big wad of bubble gum in his mouth because that's the thing. He won't take, take the gum out. But if he, if he doesn't get the hit, I think that I've seen that at least two times before. And <laughs> oh, Blake, my best friend Keith from from high school just texted me. Blake G is the man. <laughs> uh -huh. You are the man. Not a fan. <laughs> People are watching right. your show, man. I love it. I love it, man. Um, yeah, Blake, um, I got I got one more question for you uh, before yeah. we say. Uh, well, two questions actually. Um, Number one, what is your favorite card that you've you've reviewed so far from Project Seventy? And do you, oh, don't, you, don't, you, don't want to us. you don't have to choose our cards. Okay, now let me look through mine because them because I have them right next to me. Okay, great. Hmm. You know what? I think I like this one the most. Oh, let's see it. I think this one's really good. It's yours. Oh, <laughs> I just yeah. love how much um, colorfulness is in it. I love how nice it is, how nice and colored it is. It's not <laughs> Did you tell me that your dad saw him play a game too? Is that your dad's favorite player too? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I said, um, I think his like grandpa used to take him to watch games of him playing. He was his first baseball hero after his wow. um grandpa did that. So he's my great grandfather. Wow, <laughs> cool. Yeah, a little more planning. We could have gotten Daryl on the stream too with us. <laughs> so I also have a special guest. You might have saw him on my newest video. We want to see him. <laughs> My brother Austin. Hey. Oh. How's it going, Austin. Don't worry, he's a little shy. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you, Austin. Yeah. Nice to meet you too. 
Who's like your favorite that. baseball player? Who's your favorite player? Is it Trout? You got the LA on your hat. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm a huge Trout fan. Trout I'm guy. Trout. Yep. Yeah. Both of us have these hats with little trucks that come off them. Wow. That's yep. awesome. Austin, do you have a favorite card so far from the new tops thing? Yeah, well, um, you can look. <laughs> I'd say, um, I mean, I like Christian Yelich too. So he's, oh, my he's my gosh. Really that really card is so good. good. Yeah, um, if you didn't see, um, I did a, another card review just tonight. Wow. I just released my newest episode, and he was on it. Awesome. Uh, I'm going to check that out. I read the words for this card, but he actually reviewed it. That's awesome. Uh, he reviewed one of his favorite players. Uh huh. Yes. He reviewed I love, this. I love that card. Yeah, I bought that today. Best. <laughs> so good. I know. I just love the background. Yeah. It would have been I'm confused about is why is there a giant. A, like uh, train car in the middle of a baseball I field. Mean, I was just asking. Well, I think it's because the artist who made that card, his name is Seth. He is an OG graffiti artist. Do you guys know what OG is? Oh. Yeah. It means like the original. Original gangster. Well, yeah, exactly, exactly that. So he is an OG graffiti artist, and he used to paint on trains. And that was really popular for a lot of graffiti artists. That's how they would get their art out because before there was the internet, it was really hard to get your art into homes that were far away from your home. But if you paint it on a train, bam, goes right across the country, goes by every home. Your art goes everywhere, right? Yeah. Like the original internet. And so basically, that's the story of why I think the train is on there. Who knows? Maybe this actually is a picture of one of his art things that he actually put. Exactly. Um, one of his art exactly. things to this. I, I mean, yeah, that's a good what if one day you actually see a train with that markings on it? I that would be pretty cool. I bet we might. It's very cool. Don't worry about my dad laughing in the background. Oh, no. <laughs> We're not worried about anything, man. <laughs> the show. You guys are killing laughing. That's awesome, man. Well, thank you guys so much for jumping on. Uh, I know yeah. I'm going to send a little care package to you guys. I'm going to send you guys some cards. Yeah, um, I heard about that, that actually. Yeah, maybe some packs. Um, but yeah, it should be fun times. I really appreciate, you know, your guys' support, what you guys are doing, you guys doing those reviews. That helps me and Gregory and Brittany all be able to do what we like to do, which is paint. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, the G Bros. Um, for inviting um, us on and um, – I hope you have a nice time, and I hope you make some good cards for the next project or more of these on here. <laughs> Thanks, man. Bye. 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 So cute. Oh, that was such a treat. That's awesome. What a surprise, man. I love that. <laughs> I love that so much. Um, yeah, great kids. And it's just so fun to see, like, how, you know, honest they are and just like no filter yeah we gotta get back to that that uh, like yeah. that innocence that's the goal got it gotta go back absolutely um man speaking of going places traveling brit you go everywhere everywhere uh, it's insane um how was that has that like changed obviously like covid i'm sure like has affected like some of the live event stuff but I mean, you guys are just world travelers. Where uh, where have you guys been recently that you love? I just got back from Miami on Monday. Nice. No, yeah, Monday. I just got back. No, Sunday. Yeah, yeah Sunday. And then before that, I was in Park City. I did two trips to Park City because of the snow. Nice. Yep. UFC. You got Vegas coming Vegas up for you. Next There's weekend. a next, next week's the fight. Yeah, next week's the fight. Yeah. Yeah. You went to New York. Yeah, I know. I admit, I know. Don't remind me. <laughs> no, I, I don't want it in. Next yeah. trip. It's yeah. Atlanta. Straight. Next time. Next time. Um, for sure. I mean, I would love to. I, I also just want to come out to L.A. so bad. Uh, I miss California. It's been a year since I've been out there. Um, yeah, it's opening up a little bit now. All the outdoor, the weather's beautiful. 
we're kind of getting a little dining. bit of a, a pulses coming back into the the city which is there's traffic yeah. again and there's <laughs> uh yeah there's a different vibe going around yeah that's awesome um all right let's see let's get back to art of the people on Project 2020, and, and this is at or Project 70, this is bad because I usually don't like to ask questions that I don't know my own answer to. But mm. out of all the lists that are of the, all the artists, is there anyone that you're really looking forward to seeing their work? And I just re I just realized my answer. I do have one. <laughs> From Project 70? Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, like, so like the new people, right? So we still have like, I mean, oh, what, yeah. 45, 50 artists to see uh, stuff. So like, there's one guy, uh, uh, Michael B or Mikhail B. Um, yes, LA artist, our yep. friend. Yeah, dude, his stuff is so sick. I discovered him actually around the same time I discovered you, and like you two were some of the first artists that I was really like uh, aggressively like following on social media. And like, he is you know, he's a beast, man. We we love his sick. color and mm -hmm. his. The cool thing is, is like we I was in Miami two years ago, and um, I really wanted to paint a wall. And he was painting a, um, and Brittany helped me. Um, she was painting a mural down in Wynwood, and I wanted to paint a mural. And he's like, "We're painting these murals for this, uh, this, this was it? I think it was an elementary school, mm -hmm. and it was all different artists. And I'm used to seeing his abstraction and geometric, yeah. and yeah. he is an incredible graffiti artist. His his, yeah. his lettering and his so he's capable of so much it's really and, and a great guy like i was like let's do something good for these kids so yeah i, I am a, i am looking forward yeah. to his yeah no i'm i'm so stoked so like i remember last year when project 2020 roster was finally announced and i saw your name on the list i was so pumped uh and like here we are today and like i got the, the same thing when i saw uh michael on the list i'm like yes mm -hmm. that's the dude i need to link up with this year oh, yeah, we, we we get him on the stream it's awesome. Yeah. I, I mean, I love his work is so good. Um, it's amazing. And I can't wait to see what he does with baseball cards. It's going to be so much fun. Yeah. His stuff is like, you're looking through a kaleidoscope and it's just yeah. shattered and it's really like, I, I think it, I think his set's going to look beautiful together, you know? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, and now we, like, even like that Cess card that um, the Yelich that we saw today is just awesome. Like, yeah. That's a must, that's a must buy for me. Um, it is hard you know, not to buy the card. Like, yeah, it is. Like, it it is. Up, like one of the greatest feelings is when your eyes first, when your retinas just first see the new thing. You're like, who is it? What is it? Wow, wow. How do you? It's like mm -hmm. it really is a a fun. Um, it's an addictive thing, actually. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. But um, who are you looking forward to? <laughs> um I, well i mean obviously michael i, I would love to see, i want to see risk you know i want to uh, see what he comes up just because it's a, yeah. that's our boy i'm yeah. trying to see what snoop dogg pulls out of his hat like i just want to see what that's gonna i mean I, I think it's just like a it's a great pack of weirdos and i just can't wait to see like all, all of our minds i mean i love seeing the the train like what a really great concept and it, that that's what's great about the project you get a bunch of creatives to literally do whatever the hell they want with no rules and just what comes out of yeah. our brain and like no one's so yeah. they're all gonna be so different and wonderful in our own right so yeah scott mentioned uh crayola who also is amazing okay. Fine. um i'm also really excited about ron english i like yeah. his work i've got a, a a print of his in the kitchen um yeah it's gonna be oh uh jeff staple Really Future. Like oh yeah, Jeff Staple. Jeff Dude. Staple is going to be sick. Um, yeah, I mean it's and then there's like a bunch of them that I don't know yet, which I'm really excited to, because, like, Project 2020 turned me on to some artists that like that I really really enjoy. Uh, and like Naturel is an example, and it was and it has nothing to do with like he had done plenty of cool shit that I should have known who he was, but I didn't. And then I found him through the project, and now I've gone back and looked at like everything he's done. And it's just like. He's one of my favorite artists. Uh, and so I'm excited to find a bunch more uh, favorite artists uh, in the upcoming roster. And also like the, the uh, if you, I'm paying attention to some of the artists that I loved last time and um, Avidas doing black and white mm -hmm. and Sophia Chang, mm -hmm. uh, you know, 
saying she said she's going to start to to incorporate some new stuff in there. So I want to look back at the at the ones that I loved it from 2020 and um, yeah, yeah, and, and stack up that pl that collection. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we're getting a bunch of comments. Futura, uh, Alex Pardee. Kevin says Alex Pardee is going to bring stuff to the project. No one's expecting. That's great. Um, yeah, it's awesome. I uh, need some good Jackie cards better than today's. Personally, Jason, I know Jason is like a super collector for Jackie. And I get that it didn't maybe like surprise you. But like, I don't know. I think it's a really gorgeous card. And I think it's going to look amazing as a foil. So obviously, it's still a must buy. Um. Oh yes, yeah, Scott Diaz. Remind Britt that Lauren Taylor says, "Hey." Uh, so I don't know if you saw. So Lauren Taylor, uh, one of the other, how many other four or five, at least four or five women in the project? Oh, yeah, Claw Money. Yeah, Claw. I'm excited to see her stuff. You know, she's up all over the city. Um, so for sure. But specifically, uh, so Lauren has been on my stream a handful of times. She's amazing. And uh, Britt, she specifically, uh, she, I would love to connect you guys because uh, she wants to do some content around kind of the female creators that are in the project, which I think is a great I idea that. that you guys should like. Be honest. Yes. Lauren, yes. <laughs> cool. That's good. Um, yeah. So I'll get, we'll, we'll figure that out. So yeah. Lauren, if you're watching, we'll make that happen. Um, Octavio says Snoop Dogg's got to step it up. Yeah. The other Blake also uh, kind of railed on Snoop. You know, I actually, I enjoyed the Acuna card. I didn't think it looked like, uh, so much like the year it was trying to emulate, but I thought it was cool. I don't know, but I'm also just like, I'm never going to tell people their art is not good. <laughs> like I would ever, every, even if it's not for me, I'm like, that's cool. I guess. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, all it all well, art well, deserves to be there. It's yeah. like it's you go though. I mean, what sometimes right. what's to this day, I'll go to. I just went to museums and I was looking. I was like, okay, well, these are museum pieces, and you know, it's just relative. It's some people and someone right. loved it for it to be there, and that's right. the thing. Yeah, and then and then there's also like a lot of stuff that I maybe go to a museum and I like really enjoy and I like love to see it in that space. Uh, like I'll never put that in my house. Never. regardless of how many houses I have or what style I want to decorate them in, like that would just never go where um, I live. And it has nothing to do with like, yeah, I still enjoy it. Just, yeah. Yeah. If, you, if you're, if your work makes somebody feel something, then it, right. then it's, uh, then it's alive. You know, if yeah. it was just hummed over and whatever, and you didn't, you didn't. So like, I feel like that's something good. If someone has to, to whether it's, Fear, anger, happy, joy, hate it, you know, er, like, and it's, it's weird. Like the Damien hot, her spots, you know, sometimes when you first saw the, when I first saw them, like, what is this? And then, you know, it plays in your head and, and hmm. why does that feel soothing? And why do I like this? Why do I want this in my home now? It's mm -hmm. art has this like weird, uh, yeah. inhale, yeah. exhale. Yeah. And like, these cards that we look back later, you might, you, you, you might be like, I love that card. So yeah. in the moment, yeah, Dwayne said something similar, like art evolves and you see different things every time, which I totally agree. And I think, you know, and that also happens within even just our little world over the top set is like last year, there were, you know, at the beginning of the set, there were some artists that I feel like I didn't understand. And then as the set progressed, uh, like really it grew on me. And now I could go back and look at all their original cards and be like, wow, that's it's an amazing piece of art. I feel like I got a lot of comments like that in the beginning from from my work because it was in a di in, in a different kind of realm. Yeah. And then, yeah. It's, it's it. That's one of the best feelings is when you can when when you can connect and relate when someone relates to it and then they're like, ah, I get it now. Like, and I feel like all yeah. the artists in this set are thinking about how are these going to look together and. How, how, uh, what can I reveal about myself and, and my, you know, my love of the game and my love of who I am and what I have to weave into the player that, yeah, you know, they're all the mini self reflections of us. And yeah, absolutely. I think it's awesome, man. And I think like what you did with the, with the strawberry in particular was like, it was a really good, um, I think like a really strong follow-up to project 2020 because you took like different elements from many cards that you used and like put it kind of all into like one, like it just feels really finished. 
um, Thank you. Refined, you know, which is, I think, really cool. I wanted to to give that, uh, you know, that aggressive energy to it and, and give like the quintessential elements and but not take away from the player and not. Right. And then right. like that light on his face. And um, if you look deep into the card, you'll notice some things in there that, you know, well, listening to Strawberry to his story and how he, you know, found faith and found God and and uh, wants to spread that. And I just thought that that's like, he made it out, man. And he's an example. And, he, and, mm-hmm. and that is, um, that was an important part of the card for me is that the, the player and then the person and just like, right. and keep shining. Like that's like, that's like the, the strawberry glow of that yeah. card. And, yeah. And then, and then the other one, cause you did another portrait too, like just on canvas with crink. It looked like, Oh the, yeah. That was with uh, Sumi ink. That was from uh, some, yeah. Um, ink that I got in Japan okay. at the store that Keith Herring with, with Tokyo Hands nice. is where Keith, when he was in Japan. I was reading his journals, but like Sumi Ink ha- is has that flow like crank. It's a lot looser. Yeah. I guess I was in the studio and I was you know working on the photo. I was like, I need to re- express this in another way. And um, Andy was in the studio and was like, Wow, yeah. you yeah. should do one of those for every player and have like the black and white, you know. It's like a, I mean, maybe it could be a companion card. Yes. Um, yeah, maybe. It I, mean, could. I love, I love that piece too. Like that's, Thanks, I agree. Right? you should do it for all of them. Um, and, uh, and same with you, Britt, like doing the, the portrait, I think was uh, that a Rob portrait is amazing. Thank you. Yeah. You guys yeah. don't have the originals there. Cause you guys are at the house, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Or it at the, yeah. The originals are on. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, it's just gorgeous. I love like, you know, your use of color and it looked like, you know, I've, I've watched a lot of your, uh, past art videos, um, doing like, I don't know, some really cool, like, I don't know if it was like a Buddha or like an elephant and like, just some really cool, like kind of Zen stuff. Yeah. Like um, spiritual Ganesh. Yeah, sure. I, I, yeah, I didn't know like the right words to like explain that vibe. Yeah. Um, it looked like you used almost like dye, like it's almost like tie dye in the background. Yeah, I mean it's it's a it's a it's an ink basically. Okay. So I'll use either like a water based acrylic or I'll use ink, and I really just like dilute it down to where uh, I could play with it like a dye. And I use different you know right. tools and dryers and just kind of like to get at the flow because. Not every, you know, I've like I've done three Ganesh paintings as like, mm-hmm. you know, requests. I did one just for a show and then, but not one painting looks like the other. I can never ever duplicate it just because of the way of every, whether sure. it's anything. So, um, yeah, you just learn to kind of manipulate it and let, like the portrait I just finished today, which is the, which will be the card, which. Um, awesome. Uh, yeah, it's my <laughs> favorite. It looks, it, I, I was just like, wait, what? yeah, it's, yeah. it's, I, I, I think it's great. I'm not just too. saying that, that this one's my, my favorite <laughs> so far. I mean, but it looks all great, nothing but... like the one, nothing like the A Rod portrait. Although yeah. I kind of wanted it to, but they, they just, it doesn't, I use the exact same materials, different colors, but like they just don't, I don't know, the, the face have their own like vibe and they just choose how they want to look. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. I'm, I'm very excited to see it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll send it to you. Great. Um, and, and so also, I guess for people watching too, if they want to see your process, is the, is the Brittany Palmer art better? You share more art content on that in terms of Instagram stuff, right? Yeah. I mean, I, I do, I, I show it's uh, Brittany Palmer art is more dedicated just to my art and it's not really like pitching or selling anything else. You know, uh, I have to try to juggle all of them, but I think that the Brittany Palmer art is more like the, like me, in my element opposed to, you know, all of the other hats that I wear. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, uh, let's see. Jason Eggert, see you later, man. Have a good night. Uh, Eric wants to know who's going to have the next Yankee after a rod. I think F dots card comes out really soon. I can't wait. Can't um, wait for F dots. Do you just, I, I can't remember. I'm in, I'm in F dots Patreon, but I haven't looked to see. I can't remember what card he's doing first. Um, happy birthday, Dwayne. Awesome. Uh, dope. Well, what a, 
Oh, let's see what else. Mm, what are you guys most excited about, like with working with Tops this year uh, happening? Like for me, like compared to last year, like I really hope that something by the end of the year, things can open back up and like we can do a live Tops event. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm hoping that happens. I don't know. Is there anything like. Yeah, I hope to like we keep collecting these canvases and just do a big ass group show. It would be incredible to do that at a stadium and actually have the you show up for a game. There's an art exhibition before you get mm -hmm. to meet your artists, have some of the cards. Uh, I think, yeah, like because cool part about art is you we were even talking about it today was you need to be in the room with the paint. It's it's so much more than a flat digital image. It's 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 a feeling in front of the painting. And I feel like yeah. it, there would be nothing really cooler than having the painting, the player and the painter. In yeah. One room. yeah and, and the audience and how that makes you feel. So that, mm -hmm. I think, I think that's going to happen. We're, 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 we've yeah. been very patient. I know we, we are, we're earning it. We'll just um, invite you Rod and JLo and then we'll just yes. like, exactly. Um, sign the, you know, dual sign the portrait and just, <laughs> That's what I'm looking forward to. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We got, we got some good questions cooking now. Are you guys planning on going to the national? You know, that is the national sports card convention. Oh, I it's, thought it was the band. I was like, what are they band. performing? I was like, wait a minute. Here. <laughs> no, the national is the national sports card convention. And it's, um, uh, it's well, last year it was supposed to be in Atlantic city. It got canceled. So this year I think it's in Chicago and mm -hmm. I'm going for sure, but it's just, a, it's like the biggest sports car convention ever. And you guys should, should try when is it? Is it in? Or they uh, don't know. Guys, you. remind me when that is. It's in what? July, August, something maybe. Should get a booth. I don't, and I don't sell remember. Our cards. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, I, I have a deposit down for a booth. Um, and yeah. I got a big one if you guys want to share. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe a little posse booth. Um, That's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um. What happens though, huh? Yeah, if it happens. Uh, yeah. So it's Chicago. I don't know the date, but I'm sure people will tell us. Uh, okay. Other questions. Do you guys ever collaborate uh, on art? Yeah, we've done we've done a couple, but not really. We've done um, a canvas uh -huh. and a work on paper. Um, it's something that's natural that happens, you know. Yeah, it's not. He he. It's good because we 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 have our separate styles, but it's also I'm you know a younger and you know he just kind of lets me go into my and but we collaborate in so many other ways like while we create, you know, like if he's having a problem or if I have an issue, like we both like there, there's so much of him in my paintings and there's so much of me in his paintings because it, it helps to be with an artist, right? Cause of course. we can be brutally honest with each other and just say, listen, that just, it doesn't look finished. And that's how we would say right. it. And it, uh, we, we could never, I could tell if he would lie to me anyway, but it's kind of <laughs> nice to have yeah. that. So we, we yeah, well, yeah, Gregory. <laughs> But I think you know it'll it'll Loaded question. It naturally it naturally happens, you know. Like if there's a situation where someone needs to collab, you know, a, a good friend of ours or something will collaborate on. I think it's a good test too, because when you're with an artist and you, when you're working on your piece, there's nothing better than having that confidence and knowing that's it. And you know, and sometimes when you're lost, you you have an extra set of eyes, an extra set of you know um, sensibilities there to 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 guide you, but you know you're like tweaking it right and you're getting there when you're like confident, you're like, look at this. Yeah. And sometimes it's always like the, the smallest thing, like a hair, like I don't even, she paints eyes so incredible. I don't know. Well, I, but the thing is, and is, I went to school. She, I'm like, this was, is done. And she's like, yeah. no. And then she goes, Phew. and I'm like, ah. Well, so I went to school for it, right? <laughs> and and so I have like, and so, but that's what's beautiful. So he could teach me to loosen up and I can teach him to tighten up. And so there's this kind of, I remember when we first started dating, I was painting, you were painting something. And I was like, this is the brush you use for hair. Like, this is the one. And he looks at me like, what? There's like a brush for hair. And I'm like, no, this is like the fan brush I love. We still don't use it. But but it's kind of. <laughs> yeah, I see those ones. I, I don't ever, I've never used them. The we don't use those either. That's the one no. for hair. Have you ever oh my God. I, let me, I actually got to show you. I got some brushes I'm so excited about. I just bought. They're really expensive. I'll be right <laughs> I will go on like shopping sprees and like Blick or 
Uh, so oh, who knows? Like, like, oh, I'm so excited about this. That's a hundred bucks yeah. right there. Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. I don't know. It was, it was a lot. I don't know. It's like between all these things, it was just. Oh, that's a great gesso brush. Yeah, I'm excited. Okay. That one's the best. It's a bitch to clean though, because it never really gets into your bucket. Oh. Uh. I get a big old bucket. Well, I'm I'm excited, and then yeah, like some really big. Actually, uh, Michael B. inspired me to get these. Watching some of his videos, doing his little like paint flicks. So I was at Blick and was like, "Yeah, I want all these things." So new toys for when you guys come over next time. Um, so much fun. Oh my god, the other. Speaking of toys, have you guys? Where is it? Uh, have you guys ever used um like the little Oculus Quest? With the tilt brush and done the you did that at i was risk. at risks and oh, uh, you're like you your work would do so well in that format i i well there's a, there's a there's a i would love to try that i tried the the um king's king spray is that the name of it it's a graffiti okay. oh yeah, um, yeah i know yeah 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 i don't oh, have that yeah. but... you're like look it's like sun is coming down and you're behind like a bridge and you can yeah and you can you just hear every it's it's so real I was about to get one and I, I was like, no, don't get it. You just, just paint, just <laughs> don't get on. It's, the it's a distraction, but I figure if my distractions are still making me better at painting, it's okay. Yeah. Um, it's better than me playing FIFA with Andy, which does. Yeah. Also. Mm -hmm. Which by the way, there's Andy, everyone. So what's up Andy C. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's fun. So those brushes. Um, Dope. Do you guys, uh, anything outside of tops, like art projects that you guys are working on that you can talk about or excited about, or is this kind of the only focus? A uh, whole bunch of new stuff coming up for 2021. Love to hear it. Um, I'm well right now, just imagine a lot of canvases. So I'm painting yeah. a whole new body of work with a whole new, uh, a whole new old approach. So nice. I kind of like, you know, you, you want to like shake the sheet out and br bring it, bring it back to the old stuff. But then also, uh -huh. so I'm working on some new canvases for some big, some big shows coming up and um, experimenting with some new mediums, nice. which we'll get, we'll get into it. We're on card number one over here. <laughs> yeah. So, but like, love it. I was supposed to have a show last year, um, obviously, but because of everything that happened. So I was, I had like a whole spiritual based show about just like sound and like sound healing, color healing, and just like an entire, like, you know, so when you saw the Ganeshes and the, you know, the Buddhas and like create a really powerful show, um, like geometric shapes and plant medicine, which is something I, I feel strongly about and have worked with a lot. So, but and it's everything's kind of I'm just like waiting, you know, until right. things open back up and it's more of a an experience and not like, you know, waiting in line six feet away and, you know, it's kind of have more of a, a, a natural flow of a show other than, you know, it's a little it, too structured right now. Yeah. So just going to do the project. Keep ourselves busy. I'm still working with UFC, waiting for, you know, like I said, things to open up and then get the show back going. Yeah, it's a cool thing that Project 70 is the art show. You, you know, it's mm -hmm. like, um, it's something great to wake up to every day and think about how it's going to go. And you, you paint it like an art show. And that one's done. The next one's done. You're thinking about ones further down the line. Yeah. She's already got the groove and it's just the, just the yeah. first inning. That's, it sure is. Um, also separate from Tops, really curious to get your guys' take on it. <clears throat> I think given your comment earlier saying like you can, it's not just a digital image. You got to see it and be in the room, which I agree with you in some capacity, but are you up on like NFT, like kind of crypto digital art space at all? Third time I heard that today. Like I have I've to be, been, I have to be up on it now because it's three it. times. It's ridiculous. There we actually, we did our first piece of crypto art for, um, for a charity and it was on a uh, cryptograph and i believe um it was to raise money i think for dicaprio's foundation for the environment and for koalas so brit did one i did one i saw alec monopoly and retina did one and um it was really cool they uh that was so that's like the first type of we were introduced to that we wanted it to support and do that 
but now it's become not that now that it's become it, it has been but we haven't really um at least yeah what do you make of it blake because let's, let's, let's catch up offline about it um i am uh i'm very bullish on it uh, especially in the short term i think that it is a new frontier there's a ton of potential for the future upside but there's also it's like a gold rush right now and it's literally like i mean millionaires are being made daily um because of this stuff and and it's it's really interesting it's really wild to see uh i've had some uh, quite a few phone calls. You know, it's the same thing. Like I'll get people hitting me up all the time. The whole reason I got into it is because people kept saying, hey, are you in on NFTs? Are you selling your art online digitally? Are you, you know, are you on Super Air? Are you doing this? And um, I think it's great. Like I've sold some works and like, and the crazy thing is, is like the the works that I've sold were like a, a photograph of a fraction of a painting that I painted two years ago. And I sold that as a digital thing and someone oh, bought cool. it and 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 paid me an ethereum for it uh which is it's it's like it's crazy to me like it's you know what'd be really cool i love that what you're what you're doing is to keep selling pieces of that painting and ultimately let's say it breaks down to a hundred different collectors together yeah. that is yeah. the one piece right and the little it's like a little piece of your heart and yeah. then it goes all together well you but, know i mean they used to do that in baseball card you know you could go baseball cards and you'd have the puzzle where on the back, it'd just be like a tiny piece of a photograph, right? And then you'd put them all, you'd have to collect them all, and then you'd yeah, get the, like, the, big, the big picture. That's, uh, yeah, it's cool. By the way, this this is Random Tops Now. It just arrived, Mark McGuire. It's my boy. Your boy. You got to spend the Tops Now points somehow. Um, <laughs> I have hundreds of thousands of them from last year. Um, Are you guys, uh, Britt, I would say, and I, I would guess that Gregory will give you this advice because he's been through this too, but my advice would be however many of your very first cards you're planning on buying, take it up a little tiny bit more. Yeah. You're, probably, you're gonna regret, you know, it's your first card. And yeah. they're only printed and then they're done. And you can buy them on eBay after, and people probably will sell them to you cheaper than anyone else because they're yours, but you can get them very cheap with our discount. And so I think you should Yeah, he's given me the the warning and it's been yeah and you guys got a new house hopefully a lot of closet space to start uh, yeah. <laughs> i traded one george bread ap for this house <laughs> we had to get a new storage you know for all the boxes of top it. cards that he has like <laughs> oh you know what i gotta i gotta grab something else where are the griffy the griffy signs can you grab up that box real quick Just your card is awesome back here something. Oh, thanks, man. You should see there. there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see. Right. He so I give people a little tilt. So that's that's a commission. Oh, the microphone's in the way. Sorry, guys. But you guys can see part of it. Yep. Oh, sick. Oh, that eighty-seven. It's, so cool. it's on wood because it's like the the eighty-seven wood grain. Oh, um, so you did it on wood? What's that? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like did it on wood, and I stained the outside. That's so my, um, like the kind of Louis Vuitton baseball kind of style pattern is like backgrounds. It's fine. This is not Andy. Are you struggling back there? Well, no. So much... oh, we do have so much stuff. Okay, so we got um uh, we got hooked up uh, for a uh, Ken Griffey Jr. signing autograph signing. To like oh, that's so sick. Oh, these are so tight. So look at these were from. Uh, two of them from my PC and one from Andy's. I'll show you Andy's first because this might be the tightest one. How did you – what was Nick, this? Nick got it signed for me because I had Corona when you guys were at the MLB store. Oh, that's fire. Okay, so uh, so this is separate actually. So this is your uh, Mark McGuire card. Dual. Oh, wow. Blue burger. So, so Nick – apparently Nick got you to sign this card for Andy while we were at the MLB I store doing this signing. Because Andy had COVID then, and then we recently also uh, sent some cards to Mark McGuire to sign, and so he sent this. So he got this. Wow. Dope, dude. But yeah, it's awesome. also look at these. I was I was looking for. I have an AP, don't I? I, I think. What the heck? Okay, <laughs> I thought I had the AP of this one. Damn. All right, so I have two of these. Uh, so I got two full Griffey sets. One in one in this blue, and one in this gold. And they look so cool. But I also, I specifically was hoping he would find, I have an AP of this card. 
and I was able to snag it from Tops. And so I got him to sign that in silver with like the Molotov uh, liquid yeah, the chrome. The chrome. The chrome. And it looks amazing. But we don't know. We might have lost oh, it. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, but anyway. I have that on sale on my site, uh, 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 AP in, in chrome. Nice. On there, but not Griffey on there. Yeah. I have other ones from 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 Lee uh, of Griffey. Yeah, he plugged you with some nice stuff. Yeah, there if was you like, uh, those duels, they're up on my site on my shop at Gregory. Yeah, Sif. plug that. Let's get that in the comment. That's like bigcartel.gregorysiff.com. Yeah, gregorysiff.bigcartel.com. Gregory There's Sif. some duels uh, up there. There's also some standard oh. edition. Okay. Damn, that's in the comments. Cool. Thank you, Blake. Um, of course. Absolutely. And Britt, where where are people going to be able to buy your autograph cards? Uh, BrittanyPalmer.com. Okay. Yeah, we'll have it all set up. I-T-T-N-E-Y-P-A-L-M-E-R.com. Bam. Yeah, getting it all set up so it has its own little, you know, I have already a shop now that has like artists like Bombers and prints that I sell, but then we're going to make its own little drop down for only cards. Great. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. Video says hello. Um, great. Well, this has been awesome, dudes. Yes. Thank you guys for joining us. Um, I can't wait till you know the world opens up. I would love to come to LA and and hang, see your guys' new crib, see your studio, rock out in LA with you guys, and here, you know, in New York. Oh, sick. Okay. I love that journey for you. Yeah. It's, yes. It's, it's, Damn. The case is kind of chrome. The case is scratched, so that's – I want to take this out. What's new? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, I mean, this is like – That's it's, dope. It's so gorgeous. He's got – I love the cursive. Yeah, he's I love got a nice autograph. Right. The kid. Nice autograph. Dope. Um, oh, wow. I just realized – Oh, no, they're all like that. Okay, no mind. <laughs> I thought there was a printing error, but it's just your – I got to duel that. Yeah, I would love I would love that. I would love that. Um, yeah, thank you guys. Um, uh, is there anything else you want to like tell the fans or um I don't know, tell me. <laughs> no, I think well I, mean, I think you covered it. I want to say thank you, dude, for I mean this started your stream started a long time before project 2020, but you got everybody under the same room, like going crazy. I think it's such a it's a great way to to share to share this moment and like thank you for you know getting us all on here, man. Oh yeah, man! I've, I've been looking forward to this for a long time, uh, Brittany. It's amazing to finally meet you. I can't wait to do thank it. Thank you so much. Yeah, you guys killed it on your cards. Everybody that's watching, you guys have uh, maybe twelve hours to get my card and uh, what like thirty six hours to get your card. Maybe so, less now. Maybe less. Yeah. Basically, you can get all of our cards right now if you want. <laughs> and you should hurry up and do that. Yes. Uh, yes. Sweet. So awesome. you don't have to hop in the DeLorean and come back and that's right. Type in. Just get it now. That's right. Now that you said that, I probably should get a few more Daryls. Yeah. yeah. I need to, I need to order up. I need to order your guys' cards too. I've got to get Blake G a Daryl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we definitely got to right. you gotta do a special little doodle on it. Uh, that'd be really cool. I'm going to send him a care package for sure. Sweet guys. Well, thank you guys so much. Uh, everybody also that's watching. Thank you guys so much. Hope you guys stay, yeah. safe, stay healthy and stay awesome. Bye. Bye.